Sudhanshu Trivedi, spokesperson and of the BJP and political advisor to the BJP president, is taking on in this section, along with the rest of our panelists, is taking on Sanjay Jha, spokesperson of the Congress party. So Sanjay Jha, the prime minister, despite all his subtle jibes yesterday, was forced to eat humble pie. He may have spoken about a collective cabinet decision. He may have spoken about a Congress court group meeting. But it, at the end of the day, it has all boiled down to Rahul Gandhi's whip. Hasn't it? Uh, Arnab, let me tell you that, you know, I think it makes for good uh, television discussion when we compare people and say how one gains at the cost of the other. But let me tell you the truth. The truth is, if there are any two political personalities who have really come out of this ordinance uh, being, uh, being cancelled uh, with flying colours, it is both the Prime Minister, Mr. Manmohan Singh, and Mr. Rahul Gandhi. How? Mr. Rahul Gandhi, obviously, for How having is? brought it out in the yeah, public domain way, yeah. and challenged the government, um, his own government, to try amusing. and take it forward. That's quite amazing. Let, let me answer. Let me answer. And the Prime Minister, one minute, and the Prime Minister of India, uh, who basically, let me tell you, give him full credit for that. Uh, number one, and very pertinent, he expressed it while on his flight back, and I, and I heard it on your channel as yes, well. Yes. You all said that he sounded assertive, strong, and he sent out a message that he was there to stay, that he wanted to take a collective decision Wh which, on the Which ordinance. side are you on and today? today I think it's a flexibility Sanjay of the entire... Jha. It's a flexibility Sanjay Jha of the no, cabinet. No, you Let me tell you. you, you, you we, no, no, you can tell me what you want, but you I... You always uh, criticize... Uh, 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 Adam, give you, me you, one minute. You tell me which side you're on. on are you with Rahul Gandhi or Prime Minister on this? Times. Let me tell you, it's a victory today of the Congress Party and the UPA government. At least and let me answer. Let me answer to you in brief. Very often, you tell me on your program because I come as a spokesperson quite often. You come and tell me why isn't the government responsive to this? Why isn't the government receptive to this public opinion? Right now, what you are seeing is the Prime Minister of India, the Cabinet, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, and the UPA government responsive and receptive to the public sentiment. Just as much as times now, you take credit for building it up, and you know everybody who's done a good oh, job I take should no have it their own stake in it. This is a good thing, Please and I, th I think there. Therefore, no, let me tell you, no, everyone has done a good I, job. I have, so the I truth, have, is, truth I, is the government I, I, and as a party a, and as two political personalities, both the Prime Minister and Rahul Gandhi are winners at the end of the day. Now, now, now let me say this to you, uh, uh, Sanjay. I have more humility and the media has more humility than political parties. We are not in this business of taking credit, okay? All we've said is we've been a vehicle for people. The people take credit, 100% well, credit. Well, we take I, one decisions. Second, no, one minute, one minute. One no, no, we take well, one decisions, minute. so we have now a right the, to Now take the credit. response, as I get Sudhanshu Trivedi well, to respond to you, you should hear Sushma food for thought. Swaraj's tweets. Yes, food, yes, who, yes, food for thought, Sanjay, Sushma come Swaraj. on. Please listen, please, Sanjay. Food for thought. Uh, Why could the Prime Minister not assert himself? That's the question. And the answer to this is because the Prime Minister knew he was not fighting for a legitimate and justified cause. The Prime Minister knew he was trying to do something that was morally and ethically questionable. Now the act of retraction can be made into, uh, you know, the act of willing submission because you've been caught doing, trying to do something wrong can be turned around and said that, you know, it, it, actually we did not want to do something wrong. Mulayam Singh Yadav and Sharad Pawar were forcing us to do something wrong, but the fact is the Prime Minister was retracting because he knew he was not on the right side of the people on this. Sudhanshu Trivedi is responding to you, Sanjay Jha first. Sudhanshu Trivedi. Oh. Uh, I know okay. what you have said. I, I would like to respond to you together. Uh, it is not only the Prime Minister who has to eat in a humble pie. It is actually all the allies of UPA. Because it, is, it was a collective responsibility of the government, which has twice passed this ordinance. And I remember in the, in the morning, when one of the senior constituents of UPA was saying that Ki hum sahibagi hai, anuyai nahi. But now finally it is proven that they are not the partners, they are the subordinates. Second thing, it has also given three other conclusions. Number one, that Congress, as always, is unable to feel the actual pulse of the public and they always feel the pulse only off late under an immense public pressure, whether it was a matter of uh, uh, Raksha Mantri on the issue of 
killing of our soldiers, whether it was the issue of two ministers' resignation, or I'm not going in the detail whether it in the last three, four years, whether it is a matter of the JPC on 2G or other things and going on over there. And the Give second thing... to respond to him. No, but let him complete. Second thing, one minute. S second thing, it has also proven that Congress is unable to take a judicial decision at an appropriate time. Third thing, it is proven that this type of politics with the Congress is going on, it is not a democratic dynasty. They have converted into, into a dynastic democracy in which they never heed to the opinion of the public. They only respond to his master's voice. No, no, so Badals are... Opinion, no, no, what, what, the Badals, one minute. The Badals are what? Democratic dynasty. Democratic dynasty means... No, what are the Badals? It was a dynasty what are the Badals? Democratic, democratic dynasty. It was a dynasty working what in democracy. Now it is a democracy forced under the dynasty. <laughs> dynasty is dynasty. Come on, you know, please, like no, let's, the, not, let's not qualify that. No, that's not the question. So, so one minute. One minute. You, what, by the way, uh, by, by the way, we have a lot of smiles Trivedi, on the news are tonight. And now I would like to come... Sudhanshu Trivedi, please, you see, I'll come to you. Well, uh, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll have a quick no, comment no, for no, Mr. Sudhanshu Mr. Trivedi, a quick comment, oh. a quick comment. One quick observation, it'll take me just 30 seconds. What, you, what the country can see today is how Mr. Rahul Gandhi and the Congress Party, the UPA-led government, has strengthened public institutions, while you have his poster boy, no, so Prime So what, was the, what was the Prime Minister trying to do? Weaken public institutions. Ayukta, what was the Prime Minister government, trying to do? Weaken public institutions. Was the Prime Minister and the entire cabinet trying to weaken public institutions? Was the Prime Minister and the entire cabinet public institutions? And tries to protect criminals the Prime and Minister, corruption inflicted MPs. You have, you have MPs said something very... Ministers in his you, own you have, you have, you have the said country something, can see the distinction have, between the Congress and the BJP today. You have said something very seriously implicating. You have said indirectly that the Prime Minister of India and the Cabinet of India was trying to weaken public institutions. Now, as a Congress spokesperson, that is a fairly strong accusation. We never said that. We have strengthened it. We have strengthened it. We said we have strengthened it <laughs> by, no, by taking back the ordinance. No, by, by, by reverse logic, the, by, by reverse logic, political by reverse logic, we have a right to upset. take it back so, if we felt by that this is not logic, the sentiment that the people of India were no, in no, favour. By, by, by reverse logic. The Prime Minister was trying to weaken public institutions. I'm glad you're acknowledging that point and that he was correct. Sankarshan disagrees with the whole flow of this debate. Sankarshan. Let's not single no, the Prime Minister. It is a collective I mean, I mean, decision of all political parties. Sanjay, if I, if Principally I may, the Bharatiya Janata no, Party, which is against no, the ordinance, but every, not the bill. Every, every time you say, don't From single the Prime Minister. One, one minute. Sankarshan, before you come in, every time the co uh, Congress spokesperson says, let's not single the Prime Minister out. So you said, don't single the Prime Minister out on the Ashwini Kumar case? Don't single the Prime Minister out because he was batting for Pawan Kumar Bansal. Don't single the Prime Minister out because he tried to delay A. Raja's resignation until his back was to the wall. Don't single the Prime Minister out because uh, you know he was trying to push an ordinance through which would have changed the very contours of our democracy. I mean, what do we not single the Prime Minister out for? If you single Rahul Part Gandhi for the praise, then you must then you must also the single out the Prime Minister the for. Prime Minister has for, not intervened well, anywhere. The pri it's a collective responsibility led by the Prime Minister. Sankarshan. The Prime Minister should intervene. Sure, I was, I, sure. I the buck stops in the Sankarshan. I think that, he accepts that, it, and I don't think I, I don't think the prime minister Sankarshan. is at all I being uh, skeptical, or he doesn't run away from that responsibility. Sankarshan, please. If I'm allowed to speak, I was only wondering. Sorry, Sankarshan. What was the entire Congress party or the UPA doing until one minute before Rahul Gandhi arrived at that press conference of Ajay Makan at the Press Club of India? where he was busy defending the ordinance. I mean, they, were they all using their energies to weaken institutions and suddenly you found this one magic mantra to strengthen institutions? I mean, I mean, this is bizarre. What has happened, uh, you know, maybe, you know, all sorts of explanations may be put on it, generational change, listening to the people's voice, changing perception, you know, doing things, you know, pushed by electoral uh, uh, sort of exigencies. But what's happening in the Congress party is bizarre and I find it quite indefensible, the, the manner in which it has played out. And to say that two people, uh, the Prime Minister and the Congress Vice President have emerged stronger from, from this, is I find, I find that an incredible comment. Well, it's an incredible event.
extraordinary situation. <laughs> I have a question for Sanjay Tha also. It's, a, it's an incredible event, says Sanjay. Yes, no, I have a question for Sanjay Tha. Feel free. It is, Feel it, free. It, is, it is an incredible event. What, before you have a, put a question in, you know, what was incredible about this event was the fact that the Prime Minister could not afford to dig in his heels and fight back. I'm sure Prime Minister would have wanted, if he, if he could, the I, Prime Minister would have even thought about fight, fight, fight back. You wanted him to go, go and not, say I'm that, not. keep the ordinance. No. I don't know, one minute, you wanted him to say, keep the ordinance. Well, he I was trying to keep the ordinance. the ordinance. Go yourself. He was, so he was, was pushing the ordinance. What means keep the ordinance? The Prime Minister was pushing the ordinance. The Prime Minister was pushing the ordinance. What are you saying? What? They were pushing no, no, the ordinance. Let me, I'm asking you a question. They For a change. The the For a change, be on the dock like I am usually on the channel. Fight back against what? Sanjay, in the wisdom, in, in their in their collective wisdom, no, no, I'm asking, the UPA cabinet, headed by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, had sent the ordinance to Rashtrapati Bhavan. They were pushing it. They wanted it passed until sure. one penny dropped in the press club of India. I uh, uh, can I just say one thing to Sanjay? Sure. Sanjay has also just admitted that I always make him feel like he's in the dock. Sanjay, may I assure you? from the depths of my no, no, heart, no, no. that there has been absolutely no, no attempt. Let me tell you, I love the, the challenges you throw at and, me. Don't worry you, about it. If you have felt that way, You don't know how I much I look this? forward to meeting you in the evening on a TV debate. Well, I'm sure you do. <laughs> But I'm sure you do. But but the fact is, the prime minister could not dig in his heels and fight back. You know, when you're doing the wrong thing, you can't fight back. In the case of the nuclear deal with the U.S., the prime minister, the same prime minister, the same prime minister refused to drink. The prime minister, the prime minister, the prime minister. Allow me to complete, Sanjay Jha. The same Prime Minister refused to blink. He said, left parties, get out of the cabinet, I'll fight back. In this case, the Prime Minister had no option but to give in to Rahul's diktat because the Prime Minister is doing a wrong thing and Rahul was pushing for a right thing. Don't try and make a virtue out of a complete political necessity is what I'd say to you tonight. Aarti wanted to come in. She had a question for you. Aarti, your question to okay. Sanjay Jha. A quick yeah, okay, I, 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 I just want to ask Sanjay Jha that now that Rahul Gandhi has strengthened institutions by taking a stand on an issue that concerns criminalization of politics, will we see him take such mm -hmm. strong stands mm -hmm. on other issues linked to corruption? For instance, will he have something to say about the coal scam in which involves the Prime Minister and his office directly? Will he come out strongly about the files that are missing and which created such a storm in Parliament? Is he going to say that the file should be found and presented to the court? I mean, are we going nah. to see Rahul oh, Gandhi now really step up and strengthen these institutions? Well, let me tell you, Arthi is a very simple one to answer, actually. I'll give you, give you two examples. Number one, here, here was Rahul Gandhi who, during the intense, that very, uh, you know, popularly presented uh, uh, Anna Hazare agitation, who went in Parliament and said that the Lokpal should be empowered by giving it a constitutional status. Well, that tells you the view of the man in terms that of anti-corruption infrastructure. That was not my question, Sanjay. Number two, on all the issues that, that on the, all the issues question. you're talking about, let me tell you, all the matters are subjudice, all the matters are being investigated, and this? the government, why of this? which, you know, the party, is Mr. Why, Gandhi why is part this? of, the government, by the way, is not allowing oh, any oh, interference to come in on its own. It's not trying to influence the CBI, it's trying to do nothing. These but are BGP-led allegations, we have to go through the, the battles day in, day out. But, well, let me tell you, what do you want Mr. Gandhi to do? Missing Mr. Gandhi files. says he's against corruption. And that means when anyone, including, by the way, let me tell you, for a gentleman who come comes in a press and conference the government should and find is transparent. And present them to the Supreme Court. Well, I think it's a fairly Absolutely. strong point. You see, the question is, why, why, Sanjay Jha, well, let's let me put tell this you, in perspective Mr. Gandhi is for our viewers tonight. to demand it of his own government. Oh, one bit, one bit. You That's see, okay, the essence okay, of it Okay, Sanjay, you know, you like challenges. So here's a, it's not even a challenge. It's a very basic point that has been raised. Sadanshu, I'm coming to you next. And Hartosh, Manisha, I'm coming to you next. Ajay, we are all enjoying this debate. But I think Arti nails it. Arti's question is very simply this. That if you take a moral position on issues of corruption, unfortunately, perhaps, for those who are on the defensive, there is no, you can't be selective about it. You can't be, take a moral and ethical position on this issue and take a highly legalistic position on something else. If morals and ethics matter, they must matter equally across the board.
That's only question which she is raising tonight. Now Sudanshu wanted to respond back to you. Sudanshu to Sanjay Jha. No, I agree with her. What Mr. Sanjay Jha was Gandhi saying and what the question RT has raised, I would like to say that those who are taking or trying to take a moral high ground on the issue of corruption and they are saying that this ordinance should be torn apart and thrown why, why they were not saying anything? I think that the CBI report which was submitted in the Supreme Court, they should have said that that should have been thrown apart. Exactly. The report of the JPC, why were not saying that that should have been thrown apart? On the report of PSC on the 2G, which was subverted, why were they were not saying that this should have been thrown apart? They have not said like this, but the real face of Gestapo was that they have thrown apart the red corner notice of Quattrochi oh, yes. in the last few months of That's UPA1 amazing. government in Argentina and transferred the entire Come amount on. into the Quattrochi's account. And in looking at well, that background, should I remind you of Bangaru Lakshman? That it looks that should it I remind you of Nitin Gadkari? Should exactly. I remind you of Yadurappa? Should I carry on? Should I remind you of Narendra Modi? Should I remind, should I remind you of Raman Singh? Should I remind you of Shivraj Singh Chauhan? There's a never-ending laundry list, sir. More than that. Mr. Chat Mr. Trivedi, there's a laundry list of BJP people who have a lot to explain for. We in government are allowing corruption, whatever, if against anyone to take its own course. Uh, what are you complaining about? At the moment, if anybody's been convicted, you should worry about Mr. Bokharia at the moment. Oh, and Mr. This? Solanki. What is this and there debate? are many other people that we know well, of. What is this debate? Why, why should we debate this? No, why no, Mr. Sudanshu Trivedi and Sanjay Jha, this debate which is titled... This debate which is titled... Your debate which is titled, Your corruption is bigger than mine is immaterial <laughs> to the viewers tonight. What is of material No, no, it was not a question of our corruption and their corruption. Well, it the was made into matter that. was quite different. You I, have even I'm transferred the amount of money in his account. How it can be said? You there know, was, there is no comparison between anything. <laughs> the, 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 what impact will this whole episode have on the working relationship between Sonia Gandhi, Manmohan Singh and Rahul Gandhi? Has the Prime Minister who heads the cabinet been snubbed? Why shouldn't one question the wisdom of the Prime Minister when such an unpopular, ethically and morally wrong ordinance was being promulgated by his cabinet which he heads as the Prime Minister? That's a quest bigger question tonight and this is a question, Hartosh, uh, which, which the Prime Minister has not given a convincing reply to so far. Look. I don't think this Prime Minister is capable of giving a convincing answer. He is subordinate to the political functionaries of this party. And which is why we must go back and look at what Rahul did on that afternoon and just re-examine it. It is not that people did not want the ordinance reappealed, but people have not been taken in by the theatrics of that afternoon. If Rahul was serious <coughs> in his gesture, it could have easily been done in the following fashion. He could have come and told us. He spoken to the Prime Minister. The party and the government has agreed that they've made a mistake and they're willing to reconsider it. And the party has taken a stand with the allies that there are certain things which are non-negotiable. And on a question of principle, we will go ahead and repeal this ordinance. None of this was done. Neither are the allies taken into confidence. Neither is Rahul willing to associate himself with the party. True. Manmohan has made the scapegoat. True. So this Manmohan is, this is, is forced to accept whatever happens. No, this now, is, uh, it this is only Manmohan uh, Singh's uh, conscience that at some point will answer for the fact as to but, why but he Hartosh, does not step up at any but stage Hartosh, what? and say that he is not party to this decision-making process. I agree. Hartosh, but you know, I, Manisha raises a hand. I, that, I go to Manisha, but you know what happens is on, on, on a slightly more complex level, the Congress party, some people will be laughing away saying our dual power center model has worked very well for us. Rahul Gandhi is the hero of the peace and the Prime Minister gets the brickbats. Manisha? But Arnab, he is, is not has. the hero of the, the peace. Truth that is, is has. the essential problem here. However much the Congress may want to believe he is the hero of the peace, the fact is that is not how it is played no, no, out. Sanjay Chah just said it has. That People means that sense in sincerity and theatrics. Well, I don't know whether by saying that it has, he has agreed that this was the whole idea, that the Prime Minister takes the brickbats, Rahul Gandhi takes the bouquets. I don't know if Sanjay Chah just admitted that. Manisha Priyam. No. 
I'm, 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 no, no, I'm no, saying that you, the you, media, you just the said, media even which constantly said that there are dual centers of power that won't work. It has worked brilliantly for nine years. There has been no friction, no misunderstanding. The media may have its sources, no, but as spokespeople, what else we have is official this channels. Manisha Priyam, what else be assured. Three be minutes to the debate, Manisha Priyam. President of your party. Between the Prime no, Minister what else, and Mr. Rahul What Gandhi. else is this except friction? that the vice president of the party has to take the government by the collar and come out to a place like the press club and say this is utter nonsense. This was a delegated function, you know, exercised by the executive. This was a legislative function, which ordinarily under no democracy, neither in the US nor in the UK, are such extraordinary ordinance making powers delegated to Two the minutes. executive. Two that minutes kind of on the debate. Power of governance is questioned. Two by minutes the on the debate. What is the impact the on the prime minister? On the, on the aesthetics, I would concede. Mr. Manmohan Singh has kept the Dr. Manmohan Singh has kept the grace of the office, yeah. but on the politics of it, clearly conceded. So once again, we have what is technically a very technocratic prime minister who heads the foreign affairs, the finance, and the defence ministries. All the political ministries and ministries that concern home and inland affairs are really not something that concerns so what's very happening much. now even after this fiasco if we had had the prime minister coming and talking to the people of india i would after have all of this that there was political leadership after all of this which is expected of the, the big question model of functioning one minute so on the debate how, the big how question do you expect i don't know if i can make a point not understand that yeah ajay boss in fact a minuscule leader of your party ajay boss and then the yeah, last if question if i can make a question. point yeah. or no Honor, honor, the thing goes beyond just how Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi and Prime Minister get along and who has come out the best. We are a country, a very large country, an emerging superpower. We have a Prime Minister whose credibility today is virtually zero. He was humiliated in zero. public. Although we may celebrate sorry. that the public pressure won, sorry. but the fact is he was humiliated in public Mr. Bose, while you he was abroad the Prime Minister's meeting speech world in the leader. UN General Assembly. We, to no, know I'm his international sorry. stature, I'm sorry. to hear his I'm speech sorry. in the UN General he has, Assembly. He has very little credibility and, and left. At the he was already a weak Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Today he has no credibility left. It leaves us a serious problem. Obama. If Rahul Gandhi really wants to take about. over, he should actually I don't think take you know over. What, you're talking about. what is this hit and run tactics that he emerges at the press club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And then suddenly disappears. 30 seconds on the debate. The last question. The last question is to Shankarshan Thakur. After all of this, after the state elections, can the Congress party afford to go into the next general elections with the ambiguity of leadership anymore? Will they now have to make it clear that the next election is not fought under I Manmohan Singh? Arnab, if I could just add to what uh, Ajay Bose and Hartosh Singh uh, have said before this. You know, Rahul Gandhi had, he is the vice president of the party. He is the sort of big Yuvraj of the Congress. He had the Congress core committee which discussed this ordinance. He could have voiced his opinions there, his reservations there. And as Ajay was saying, become Prime Minister, come up to the table, take the responsibility and take the shit that comes with it. Don't load it on like a maverick sort of paratrooper every time you wish to make a point and, and then just buzz off. I mean, I mean, this is not how an aspiring Prime Minister but or the point has been made. of India's... But, he, but he's been effective. The, he's made the point. He's no politics. He has, he has been affected. But he must affected follow it. Where? Yeah, do you think? Do you he think? Needs to I, it, Arnab, he needs to follow it. Arnab, I do not think. I do not think. As a result of what Rahul Gandhi has done, they are going to score any brownie points on being anti-corruption. I'm sorry. Okay, it's too late gentlemen. This party, gentlemen, that that open, that reopens this debate. We'll look at it once he again. But for, let the public decide. Conclusion. For now, let the public decide. It's an epochal change. It's a historical for change. Now, the the, decide, for now, for now. For now, yeah, Rahul Gandhi has scored over decide. Manmohan Singh, whether or not anyone admits it in the Congress party. That's exactly what happened. We have breaking. First of all, then I want to thank all our panelists. It's been a fantastic it. debate. The political consequences of this, we're going to debate for a long time.